Gamers, welcome back to another exciting video. As you notice from the uh, the title and the thumbnail, today I'm doing the largest fishing tackle unboxing I have ever done on my channel. Haven't done one of these for a long time. It's usually a winter thing that I do, but you guys asked for it and you shall receive this giant tackle unboxing. We got like $1,500 of the six cents baits, stuff in this box, stuff in this box from a couple other country, com countries, companies, and we got a rod to unbox in today's video. So. Without further ado, this one's gonna take some time to get through all these, but I got some badass baits you're gonna wanna see. Some some really interesting new tackle, some stuff you probably have never seen before that I'm gonna be using in upcoming videos. Now, in order to do a typical, traditional Melican fishing unboxing, we are gonna have to make ourselves a little bit of a whiskey drink. We got some Buffalo Trace bourbon tonight. Let's pour us a little drink while we do this little unboxing. I freaking love this bourbon Buffalo Trace. It's nice and oily, it's rich and it has a lot of booze in it. No, I'm not gonna drink it straight. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm gonna put some water in it, guys. Okay, that's enough water. Time to drink some bourbon. Time to open up some badass tackle. Let's do this. Ooh, that is good. All right, so I might as well get into the uh, the meat and potatoes. This giant freaking box is all from Six Cents Lures. It's literally like 40 pounds, and it is chock full of apparel and baits. You guys are gonna like this stuff. I honestly, I don't even know where to start. Like, look at this stuff. That is t-shirts, we got baits. I'm just gonna have to freaking like dump it out on the floor or something and just show you guys thing by thing. So real quick, let's start with the boring stuff. We got uh, apparel, this is a new tank top for Mrs. Melican Fishing. Uh, 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 hoodie, t-shirt, hoodie, six cents. Uh, that's like my favorite piece of clothing. I showed you guys that at the iCast. Uh, a couple t-shirts, these new t-shirts by the way. They are freaking silky soft. You guys gotta check those out. Got a pocket shirt, got a couple, they got kids clothes now, so we got a couple pieces of clothing for Max. And of course, you guys know me, I wear lots and lots of hats. I had to buy a couple new hats. Come in this nice little drawstring bag. Look at that, I can use that for putting stuff in. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I can put stuff in it. Mrs. Millican sexy hat, Millican fishing sexy hat, Zark sexy hat, boom. Three hats. Now we literally probably have like 200 crankbaits. So I'm gonna just kind of touch on them. I'm not gonna show you every single one, but I got some brand new baits, some colors you guys have never seen before. All sorts of really cool freaking stuff. Woo, 16 hours later of organizing this tackle, I am freaking sweating. Might be the buffalo kicking in a little bit. This right here is a uh, disgusting, beautiful pile of tackle that I just organized into different piles of each different type of bait. Yes, it is more baits than I could probably ever use in my lifetime, but you guys know I'm obsessed with these things because I fish every day and I need to catch fish to make videos for you guys. So that's why I ordered this many freaking baits. It's ridiculous, but hey, let's get through all these baits that I'm super jacked about. First and foremost, let's start with the biggest one in the freaking thing, the C25. I got it in a sexified chartreuse color. That thing is freaking huge, dives 18 to 26 feet. Jason Lambert won a tournament on this guy last year. Let me let me take it out to show you guys how big that thing is. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That thing's bigger than my damn hand. 25 foot diver. You guys got a good deep crank and bite and you got a bunch of big bait fish around. Throw that guy out there and get your arms tore off. So we got four of those guys. Then moving down to the uh, the 20 foot diver, the C20. I got three of them in this color. This is the Shad Craft color that I, uh, I whacked them on the square bill on. 20 foot diver, deep diver, that, that guy's sexy, like Tennessee shell with some blue glimmer on it. So I got three of those dudes. And then I want to try this color. So I got four of this guy in the C20. This is the lavender. So you guys will like those uh, those purple style baits. I know Kentucky Lake, my buddy bait man, Kevin Baxter, he loves that color, that uh, the white with the purple shad color. He's gonna like that one. And the last color I got in the C20 is another brand new color. Had to get five of them because look how sexy this is. You guys like chartreuse blueback? This is the chartreuse pro blue. It's got a blue back, it's got like blue glimmer all, oh my God, it's sexy. That one's gonna absolutely slay some slaunches. So that's all I got for the C20s, that's it. You know, I didn't barely get anything. All right, moving on to the C15s, the 15 foot deep diver. Looks like we got five of this color. What is this? Oh, sexified chartreuse. Of course I got five of that. Actually, I might've got more than five of that color. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. We done got eight of that color. More of the sexified chartreuse shot. I mean. If you guys like deep cranking and off-colored water, that's the 15-foot diver. You guys have seen me catch so many freaking fish on that one. Go check out that sexified chartreuse shad in every single bait. Chartreuse sexy shad is a great color, but they make the best one that I have seen. And the last color of the C15 we got going on here today. This is the custom bluegill color. That guy's a killer. He doesn't need much introduction because you've seen me catch a whole 
buttload of fish on that color in every style of bait. You guys got bluegill in your lakes? Tie one of those guys on and catch a lot of fish. The end, rocket science. All right, and, and last but not least for the deep divers, this one is my absolute favorite deep diver that I throw. It is the Cloud9 C10, the 10 foot deep diver. I got in a couple new colors. This is the Chartreuse Blue Shad, actual, Nope, that's not what it's called at all. It's called the Blue True Shad. Basically, you know, Chartreuse Blue Back White Belly. This one dives to about 10 feet. One thing I want to mention on these, all these Cloud9 Deep Divers, they come stock with high quality triple grips. I know so many guys that buy from other companies, they got to swap out their hooks. They're paying a dollar or more for each hook. So you got $2 more in the baits. And this Cloud9 series was made to be a very cheap, affordable series of deep crankbaits. So not only are they affordable, they come with really high quality stuff. You can throw them out of the box. So I got three of those. Uh, this one is candy citrus shad. So, I mean, it's a citrus shad color. And I don't really need to take that out and show you guys. I got five of the bluegill color. This is also the custom bluegill color. I mean, I throw these guys in anywhere from five to 10 foot deep water. Rock piles, offshore rock piles, they grind down there. They are absolutely freaking perfect. I got five more C10. This is a different color right here you guys probably have never seen. It's called Shad Truth. So obviously, natural shad colors are absolutely killer no matter where you go but we fish a lot of off colored water especially lower in the water column the water is going to be even more off color because there's less light penetration look at that we've got a chartreuse stripe on the belly of the bait so as it's wobbling as it's rolling it throws off just a little bit more flash when that fish comes up there i mean look at what they're looking at when they come up and, and look at that bait that thing looks like it's going to wiggle out of my damn hand so that's this color right here is one i'm super jacked to try out again that is the Chad Cruz. And one last color in the C10 is, I got five of these guys as well. This is the, uh, this is called Wild Shad. It's probably my favorite sexy shad color uh, that Sixth Sense makes. I don't know, it's, it's always, you guys probably couldn't see that at all. You saw the bottom of the base. So let me take it out for you real quick. This one's been great for me in square bills, flat 75, just about everything. I mean, can't really say much else. It's about the most natural, sexy shad looking color that you're gonna find. All right, man, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm trying to only have one drink in between each different type of bait that I'm going through here. This thing's gonna be gone by the time I get like halfway through the rest of these dudes. All right, let's move on to the Crush 100X Square Bell. So this is the new 2.5 series Square Bell. I got three of these in the Chartreuse Threadfin Shad, another, you know, Chartreuse Sexy Shad type color. More of a subtle Sexy Shad though than the Sexified Chartreuse. There's so many sexy and chartreuse and shads in this color scheme system. It makes it hard for me to keep up. And then a really, really rare color that no one has ever made before. This is the chartreuse black back. I know, one of a kind. No one's ever made that. Hey, you take it and you put on amazing quality bait. You're obviously going to catch a bunch more fish. Now, I also got two new colors of the Crush 100X. This is the, the Wild Shad. I didn't have this one before. It just came out. Once again, that's a Supernatural Sexy Shad color. Got five of those dudes. And then I got, uh, looks like four. I don't know why I picked four of this one, but Chartreuse Phobia. You gotta check this color out, guys. This is a really cool color for any type of crankbait. It's like purplish on the top, white on the bottom, and then like a super subtle Chartreuse on the side. Now, guys have been doing it for decades, hanging their Chartreuse baits on the in a window or on their, their truck dash or whatever to try to make it have a more dull look and a more dull chartreuse because those baits seem to get bit better they're more natural well they already did that in the package they have that in several different colors where it's nice subtle chartreuse hue that's chartreuse phobia because it's afraid of the chartreuse i'm not funny I'm, I'm definitely not funny i'm an idiot okay moving on to my favorite cold water crankbait God, I got a lot of these too. This is the Crush Flat 75. So I'll just run through these colors quick. Got Gizzard Shad. Uh, I got, ooh, look at this sexy chrome looking one. Shad Burst. I know that was a big one for Tube Boys out in Stockton. Might be going to Stockton here pretty soon. Shad Sense. So we got like a see-through natural bluish shad. You're probably just seeing like a reflection of the whatever's in the window right now. Got Shad Green. So natural shad color, green back. This Flat 75, I, I'm not kidding you, is the best possible bait you can throw in cold water square build crankbait this guy gets it done shad colors craw colors i've caught so many big fish on these baits like i told you a wild shad one of my favorite colors so i picked up three of those in the flat 75 and last but not least you guys maybe have seen this color one or twelve thousand times we got five flat 75s in the custom bluegill color one cool thing about these bluegill colors that are like this from six cents in the flat side flat side has a nice wobble nice tight wiggle to it check those colors out in clean water those things look a lot like crawdads actually and a little bit less like bluegill they can they can mimic both forages 
but they look really freaking good. This is probably a good time for me to tell you where you can actually pick these baits up. These are all at sixcentsfishing.com, and if you use the pro to MF10, the code that's only available for MFers, you can save more money than anyone in the history of the world on all of these baits. Good God, we're never gonna get done here. All right, so the Movement 80 Wake is the next one. I only got two colors of this because I don't need a lot of colors of wake baits. I got this one that's the Ghost Pro Shad, which is a supernatural shad bait, and this one, which is the, uh, the Bluegill Spawn, so a supernatural bluegill color. Those two are gonna be absolutely killer. Wake baits are totally badass in the spring, especially, and in the fall, when you have submerging grass, you can work that bait over the top, leaves a nice wake behind it, and then <laughs> something more natural for really, really slick, calm days in the top water bait. All right, next one up, didn't need a lot of these either because I have a ton of them and I only use a couple, but I, I'm told that the new ones have a different rattle system in it. If you're going out to fish a shallow lake and the bite's been really good and the fish are active, this right here, the Movement ADX, is the best possible bait ever in history that you can possibly use. I'm not saying that these are all the best baits in history that you can possibly use. They're all very good baits. This is the best bait in history you could possibly use when the fish are active and shallow. The end. Got it in black magic. Really cool looking black color. Never caught a fish on a black crankbait, but I'm like, you know, they, they eat black swim jigs, they eat black and blue jigs, Texas rigs, everything. Why wouldn't they eat a black and blue crankbait? And of course, this color, I was whacking them on the square bill the other day, Shadcraft as well. Of course, I had to get a whole bunch of crushed 50 square bills because I just, I don't know, I use them freaking constantly. Shallow riprap cranking, chartreuse thread fin shad, got three of those. Let's burn through these boxes. We got 4K Shad, got three of those guys, another nice natural Shad color. We got Bluegill Fire, it's a nice flashy Bluegill color for maybe get some off-colored water in a sunny day. That's Shad Craft, I told you guys, these are some baits that I'm gonna be giving away in a couple days when I do that giveaway. Shad Craft had to pick up five more of those dudes, it, it's like Tennessee Shad. It shimmers, ooh, a sparkly, what is this one? Platinum Citrus, so it's a citrus, citrus, shit, shit. Citrus shad that sparkles. I don't know, guys, guys love the citrus shad. I've never used it that much. That's why I picked some up. I like to try new baits. And last but not least, we got thread fin flash. Thread fin flash, so sexy shad bait flashes a little bit. Whew, we're almost there, I swear, guys. We got we got swim jigs. I can show you guys some badass new swim jig colors. And then look at these. Oh, those are secret. Mm, mm, mm. All right, before I, before I open these swim jigs, all right, I don't see any game parks. You know, it's kind of funny. They actually, they were at my house. They did come to my door this winter. That's a whole other story you guys probably learned about that. All right, so I don't see any DNR. I'm gonna open these, but I'm only gonna show them to you really quick because uh, yeah, they're, they're illegal in 13 states now. It was 10, now it's 13. Bluegill Magic, I know that color probably won't work. Green Pumpkin with Blue Shimmer on it. Had to get five of those and a half ounce because I only had three eighth ounce. Dandy Bluegill, so we got a, a more of a flashy bluegill color. Also in half ounce, half ounce is good. You can work it faster and it still stays down the water column. I don't really fish them that deep, uh, but it allows you to work it faster and it keeps it up high in the water column, which I like a lot. This one is a quarter ounce, so we went the other direction. This is a lighter one. Gizzard Flash, really, really good natural shad color if you guys fish a lot of clean water, which is when I fish my swim jig, so you should check that out. Next up, we got Shad Ice, another super natural color. This one's cool because it's a it's a natural color, but it does glow and stand out a little bit in that off-colored water, so I would throw that bait, that color right there, anytime you had maybe two to three foot visibility in the water, something a little bit too, too clean to want to throw a chatter bait or something to where they'll eat that swim jig, but that should be a money one, and of course, the bluegill spawn color. This is uh, this is a new color. Uh, it hasn't been out that long. It's got a lot of orange in it. I know the bluegill get a lot of orange in them during the spawn. That's why they call it bluegill spawn, and it catches a lot of bass that are up eating bluegill. Okay, last but not least, we've got a couple things I plan to be using next week. First one is one I've never had on my video. Uh, I've never shot a spoon video, even though it's one of my favorite ways to fish offshore. I, I got a lot of secrets and stuff that I haven't shared with you guys that I'm stoked for. I always like to give you guys new interesting content. Look at that Magnum Spoon, boom! Let's take one out so you guys can see how natural looking this guy is. A lot of companies made Magnum Spoon, Six Cents made theirs uh, with scale detail on it. Super high quality feathered treble hook. I mean, good quality components. It's got a big eye on it. It's got a great paint job on it. I mean, this was one that, that took a couple years to design to get it just right. But it's just right now, so I had to pick up like four of those because you know they'll be finding some brush piles. And last but not least, I got some Divine Shaky Heads. These are not that exciting because it's a freaking hook and terminal tackle, but it's so hard to find a shaky head with a wide gap hook. I got all 5 8 ounces because I want to fish these deep, 
With the bait, I'm going to show you guys in a different package in just a second. We got a wide gap hook, green pumpkin head, screw lock, so you can fish a big worm, big creature bait, whatever. Uh, got had to get a couple of those because you know you're going to get them snagged fishing with a deep brush. That's all I got for six cents. I do have a six cents rod. I'm going to show you a rod that I had not used yet. But hey, we are uh, we're past the halfway point. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. It's, I know it's a little bit ridiculous. I kind of went overboard on how much stuff I got. But I use it every single day and I want to try some new colors and I snag crankbaits a lot and I give away a lot of stuff to the MFers, which I hope you guys uh, like and appreciate. So I had to get a whole bunch. All right, here we have it. A uh, six cents Lux rod. I got the uh, the 7.2 extra heavy. It was the only model in the entire series that I did not have for whatever freaking reason. Came with a rod sleeve, so I got my own rod sleeve on it. Super, super stoked to fish. This one's probably gonna have the right taper. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this. I can fish a swim jig with it. I can fish a Texas rig, an offshore jig. I can fish those big spoons on it because it is an extra heavy model. It's called the Frog and Flip. Says one half to one a quarter ounce fast action, seven two extra heavy, so I can throw frogs on it. You know, it could be a light flipping stick. You can do a whole bunch with this rod, so I'm super jacked to use it. I'm not gonna give you guys a review until I actually get on the water with it and uh, throw some stuff around and, and rip some limbs. All right. Mm. Mm, we're buzzing right through this stuff. I gotta show you guys some stuff now that's really, really badass. I'm gonna shoot some future videos, and by future I mean like really, really soon. Not in the distant future at all. They're coming, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna rip right into this dude right here. Now you guys know I love throwing big oversized worms, and that's something I wanna make a video all about. Now my favorite big hand pour worms are these dudes right here, Upton's Custom Worm. Now they've kind of gotten to be pretty difficult to acquire because uh, they just don't make that many of them. Basically they're hand poured worms out of California with really cool colors and a really good logo. Anyway, I got uh, a bunch of eight inch size ones. We're not gonna take those out because they don't look quite as impressive as some other ones I'm about to show you. This is, uh, this is called Margarita Red Flake. We got Green Pumpkin. We got Aaron's tragic, not Aaron's magic, Aaron's tragic. Wow, great plan words. You're brilliant, guys. Lack grape. You guys know purple worms. Get it done down deep. Maybe you don't. Well, they do. And then this one, which is actually, I'm going to take one of these out. These big bastards are sex. This was my favorite one that I used on. It's a bigger size. It's the 10 inch worm by Upton's Customs. As you guys can see, we've got a flat bottom, pretty big bulbous. And look, I mean, I'm just sitting here holding it still. And that thing just wants to jiggle. These things have so much natural action. They float up off the bottom. These guys are absolutely freaking killer for big summer bass. You guys like worm fishing? If you want to see me throw that, comment down below. Also, got it in black grape. So I already had a bunch of these, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to stock up a little bit before I went and shot a dedicated video on those guys. All right, so another one. I got these Raider Bait Companies. Never heard of this one, but it's a 12 inch worm. So this is an even bigger, ooh, I don't really like how that tail's kinked like that. Let me see if I can find one without a kinky tail. Nope, looks like that's kind of how they're packaged. That's okay though, they'll still get bit. I mean, look at these guys, they are freaking big. But I got them in a nice natural watermelon color. So I think they'll have, they'll still be pretty natural and they're gonna have so much action down there. I'm just gonna shake those things around in place until one comes up and eats it because they can't stand it anymore. I think that's probably the best way to fish them. All right, a couple more things. I picked up some, uh, some Strike King bullworms in this new color. This is the uh, the bullworm 8 inch in the moon juice color. This is also in the moon juice color. Look how big this bastard is right here. Woo! Thing is freaking giant and sexy. Might look too big to a lot of people. Some guys have freaking crushed them like 30 pound bags on Kentucky Lake on that guy right there. So it does get bit. It's not too big for fish. I'll tell you guys that all the freaking time. Two more baits I got because I want to make some specific videos on them. Then we're on to our last package and then I will let you guys get back to your daily life. Hopefully you're enjoying this so far. Next two baits are really, really interesting baits. This one is the Savage Gear Cicada. It's kind of smaller than I thought it would be. I don't really know about it, but hey, it's a cool looking bait. It looks like a damn cicada. It wobbles funny in the water. It's one I saw some video of and I was like, hey, gotta try out a bug bait, see what happens. The next bait is a $60 topwater bait. Yes, I'm an idiot and spent $60 on one bait and it's a topwater. I'm not a smart person, but I had to do it. This is called the Aimakatsu Event. I think it's called the Event. I'm not really sure what it is. I gotta take this thing out and show it to you though. This thing is a bad, Dude, it's huge and it's a top water, so at least I'm not gonna lose it unless a pike bites off or something. What is that thing? I don't know what this, this is like the packaging up here, so don't pay any attention to that, I couldn't take it off. But it, you cast it and it shoots like that. It's a one ounce bait, but then it, when it gets in the water, it, it its wings pop out like that. You should see this thing, we'll go YouTube some footage or, or just wait for a couple days. I'm gonna post a video, fish, hopefully catching some fish. This thing was like, it like does that, and it like just wobbles. Oh. 
it looks sexy and there's videos of Japanese dudes catching fish on it so it was enough for me to spend $60 on a topwater bait apparently oh it's gonna take me freaking two hours to put that stuff in my boat let alone unbox it all right last but not least I gotta show you guys some baits my buddy Scott uh, from hog farmer baits sent me God's been a friend of mine for a long time but if you don't know anything about hog farmer baits uh, it's it's pretty much all offshore ledge fishing stuff so it's kind of niche stuff but it's like as high quality as it freaking gets he sent me like a million of these freaking scrounger heads and all different sizes if you guys have been following up on the tournament scene you got Jason Lambert out there and a bunch of other dudes out there whacking them on this goofy looking scrounger deal something that I've thrown in the past but I haven't gotten into as much as I should. And then he sent me this uh, this guy right here. I think it's called the Spunk Shad. This is a new bait he designed just to put on the scrounger head. It just got a little whippy tail. If you guys have fished a scrounger before, you can't fish a boot tail on it. It doesn't do anything. You gotta have some with a straight tail. So let's rig one of these dudes up right fast. All right, so boom, there you go. Throw a, You throw a little swivel on there. Rigs nice up like that. You know, it won't pull down because it's got a little keeper on there. But yeah, a bunch of stuff like that from Hog Farmer Baits. He also has these, uh, these swim bait heads that are epoxy, so they have no weight to them. You can fish your swim bait really high up. And he did send me one of these too, which I'm super jacked about. It's a feathered shaky head. So, I mean, really nice natural. Look how long the damn feather is. I gotta try this thing out just to see what it looks like in the water. Oh, and a, uh, a bluegill style stand up hog tie. So you got another custom tied bait. And once again, we have a, uh, a shaky head with long feathers on it. That, that's kind of bizarre to me. That stuff is freaking crazy looking. He sent me a bunch of extra stuff. I mean, thanks a ton, Scott. That is some badass gear. It's gonna catch some big old slosh donkeys. That's all I got for the video tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I sure enjoyed unboxing all that stuff. I'm obsessed with fishing tackle, as you noticed. You guys could go down and comment right now what bait in the entire unboxing you want the most and let me know what bait you're most interested in seeing me fish with. I'm very, very curious because, of course, I'm making this content for you guys. I I'm a tackle tinker. I like to try a bunch of new types of tackle. So I got a bunch of new different types of stuff. But it's really important for me to know exactly what you guys want. But thank you so much for sticking around through another unboxing video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Always stay positive. Always stay on the water. And always keep learning new things. Cheers to you guys. I'm out of here. Peace! I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.